So Tyler, the flaming homosexual that I work with, just told me to model off my church outfit. So I was strutting up and down the drive through this beautiful church outfit. I need to get more church dresses. It's really important that you uh, attempt to look nice every once in a while. I've decided that I'm going to take Sundays off from now on so that I can just be with God. I mean, technically that's what we're supposed to do because it's the, the Holy Sabbath, you know? So, I really should like take the time off, you know, to do church related stuff. I think I might join the church choir. Because I'm pretty serious about it. Turn off my vehicle. But, uh, yeah, um, if I just work like 10 hour days, six days a week, that's like 60 hours right there. And there are certain days that if I come in even earlier than that or I stay later than that, you know, I could pick up more hours. But I think it'd be good if I'm working that much that I just take one day off and it makes sense that that day would be Sunday. Wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say, Vortex? <laughs> so basically my schedule is 11 to 9. Because I, I leave at 9 on Tuesdays and Wednesdays to go do comedy at Twin Kegs. There's not really any other place that I like to go to because uh, it's just lame now. Like all these places that have been closed this whole time are like, oh, we're doing comedy now. You have to have your, you have to have your card that proves that you're a government guinea pig, but we're so cool because we're doing comedy now. It's like, God, I can't wait for all these places to go out of business. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I hope that happens really hope that happens. I need to find my socks. Okay, have my socks. See? Little duckies. Why don't I ever wear matched socks? I'm so glad you asked Vortex. Um, because wearing matched socks is bad luck. I don't remember where I heard that or read that, but... I sort of ran with it and it just kind of goes along with my personality anyway. But it's cool though because people always remember. I'm very authentic, very difficult to forget, and you can distinguish me from a lot of other people that aren't very interesting. Well, you know, the reason I'm interesting is because I trust my instincts and I like believe in God with every fiber of my being. And the part of me that was skeptical 
it's just, you know, proven wrong every time. So it's actually cool that I have that skepticism because it makes my testament to his existence and him working in my life and his grace, it, it makes that testament considerably stronger. So, you know. Hope and grace. But once you realize that grace, then you can truly live for Him. And when you live for Him, you'll be a thousand times happier than you ever thought was possible.